Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on the Pet Heresy. I decided since we had Sources of Heroes and Dungeons were getting done and stuff and I haven't done this video in a long, long time. I figured I would put out maybe a few dungeon videos starting with this one. So as you can see, I'm, I'm going to be on the Warlock. I will be changing from top tree to bottom tree. Uh, I'm just kind of showing what I'm all the type of things I'm going to be using. Weapon wise, we're going to be using Izanagis. I am going to be switching to Succession uh, for different parts of this. I've got the Truth Teller Rocket Launcher. Well, I will be switching to Arsenic Bite. And for one section, we'll use the Jotun. And Royal Entry uh, is going to be the main heavy I'm going to be using. And I'm going to be switching at the Chamber of Suffering to uh, the Lament. Chamber, Chamber of Suffering is really where I'm going to do the most changes. But what you see me use now, what you see on the character right now, is kind of what I'm going to be doing nearly all of it with. So I'm I'm using Blinding Nades on the Truth Teller, but at the boss I will be switching to Spike Nades. For most of the run, I'm going to be using, uh, as you can see, I'll Blinding Grenades all the way through, Spike at the boss. I do a war mine build, and at the end I do a, a charge for light build. Most of the changes that I make are in the video. I made one cut to the to the edit, and that was because I had to leave the run, not come out of the run. I had to come away from the computer, and then I was had stuff to do. So I've cut about ten minutes from it, but it was dead footage. The only thing that was cut in there was me changing from Spike from concussive to uh, blinding grenades to spike, but there was no parts of the run that have been cut out of this. This is the full run. So as you can see, I'm using Warmind's Decree because my Void Grenades and Truth Teller will both produce Warmind, uh, Warmind cells. And then obviously I've got Wrath of Rasputin, Solar Kills can produce it, the Lament can maybe do some of that. Uh, explosives from war main cells have the chance to create more war main cells with that. Uh, I've got burning cells. I've also got a uh, fire team medic, which gives me health back on it. And obviously, breaching clear is going to be all the way. I think I think I take it off at chamber suffering. As I say, most of the big changes are made there, but all the other change, all, all the changes bar the change between spike and. And this, uh, blinding grenades are all in the video. So you will see me change all the mods and all the weapons bar that one change. So, as I say, it's been a long time since I've come into the Pet Heresy. After I'd done my kind of slew of of solo videos when it first came out, I really haven't been back in. It was a bit of a shock because uh, I went and done a deep stone crypt the other day. Some people on my friends list asked me if I would help them do it. And I went in and was quite surprised that they buffed the ads in there. Well, it seems like they've done it in deep, uh, in, in the pit as well. And they've kind of changed the pattern in which the ads spawn in, especially in Chamber of Suffering. Now, I did know that the ball, dup the ball duplication had changed. Now, when I was running it, when I had to run it with the clan or I was helping people do it, I always used that at the Chamber of Suffering. But all the videos I made never had it in it. I, d I always done it legitimately. So I kind of had an idea how to do it legitimately because I've done it so many times and it was no different. Uh, so let's talk about how each section works. So here we are <clears throat> in, the, in, in, in the the opening section of Pet Heresy, the Necropolis. Now there's multiple towers. Each of them, most of them, have got symbols above them. Those symbols, so I've always took it the A, where I'm landing now, is where you start it and get a sword from the Sword Knight. Uh, and you use the sword in different ways to beat the different bosses that are that are here that will be at pre-designated uh, symbols or, or towers, if, if you want to look at it as the towers. But we'll talk about the symbols above the towers. When you kill the first knight, as you can see here on the video, I've explained that, dotted around are huge ogres. Right, big, big uh, elite ogres. There's five or six of them, I think. I just take out the ones I can see from the start. You don't have to do this. Uh, but I, I, I do. It's just to make... Because I'm going to have to go between the towers to kill the, the bosses. It's three bosses. Uh, 
So the way this kind of works is come down to A. I'm just clearing out some enemies here. Come down to A. I take out some ogres, and then I'm gonna have to drop down. There's gonna be I think it's like a, I think it's called a gatekeeper. I can't remember what the actual knight's called, what his what his title is. He's the guy shooting at me right now, him. This guy here. So I've got to take him. And once I kill him, the door opens, or the, the, the little kind of shield that was covering the door will open, will disappear, and now I can enter that tower's room and kill whatever's in there. So, you come to A, you get a sword. So, the sword knight is here. I'm just going to have a look to see if there's any more ogres. There was one that I was shooting it down here. And then there's one over here. Now... I tried to Kobe a, a, a rocket from there. It didn't, it didn't really work because I was too far away for the track and, and I'm too far away to hit a snipe. I can just see on the right hand side of my sniper scope that there was there was a, an ogre I could have took. <clears throat> but but I, I didn't see him during the run. So now we're going to go into A and we're going to kill this knight and that gives us a sword. Now the sword is the only way to kill these other bosses. The sword has a number of functions. There he is there. And we've just stuck him with a rocket. My royal entry, you'd have seen from the start, my royal entry has an uh, impact case and lasting impression auto load and holster. It's just about the best one I've ever had. So, when I came in here, I killed the knight, I looked up and there were three symbols above the... on, on, on uh, the wall above him. That's the three symbols I have to go to to kill the three champions, should we call them? Uh... The, the three champions you'll have to kill <clears throat> are the same at the boss. Uh, but obviously we're not at the boss, so we'll talk about these ones. Which really should be because they're the same at the boss. You've got a wizard, a shrieker, and a knight. The wizard can only be killed using the swords. Sword has a right trigger function, function similar to the black talon. So you throw an energy blast. Uh... And, and it's got it's got a, a decent amount of tracking <clears throat> so you will use that that's the only way and the super the sword super can damage the 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 wizard as well but light attacks won't damage won't damage the the wizard this is the shrieker so the way you kill the shrieker is you block the shrieker shots using same as any block function on a sword and you aim the shots back at the at the shrieker that will kill that will kill the now what happened there was for some reason it's, it's not for some reason i didn't i didn't allow the sword to track i, I thought it was directly on the, the rocket <laughs> each of the each of the champions will have their own set of Adds defending them, so the wizard will have two wizards, two normal red, red, red shielded wizards. As you can see, the shrieker will have two ogres, and the knight will have a whole bunch of thralls. So, to kill the shrieker, you just block the shrieker shots and send the shots back at the shrieker. The wizard can only be killed by the right trigger, the right trigger uh, tracking throwing mechanism. And the knight can be killed with just light attacks and obviously the super. So, but the knight will block. You have to, you have to, you have to block when he f hit, tries to hit you with his sword. And, and then, so the way I do it is block, light, light, block, light, light, block. And then when I get my super, I, I do light, light, super, light, light. Now, hit the sword super. It's the same as popping any super, right, left bumpers, or whatever your super de uh, super activation uh, buttons are. It's the same for the sword. So what I'm doing now is I'm just traversing through the area. Now you'll see there's, there's a lot of ads peppered about. The ads I worry about the most are the ogres. Each one of the towers will have one of those uh, elite knights. Now you've got these uh, revenant... Uh, Enemies, you'll also have these dotted about the place, the sword bearers. 
they're not just in the towers. The first one you, I always go for is in the tower because that gives you what you need to what you need to kill. So this is this is the sword knight. Uh, you'll see just above me there. There's there's like locks on 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 the wall, and it tells me that the symbols I need to go to. So the way I number my sing, sing, I think for this one it was spike, burger, and divide. Now that's because that's what the symbols look like to me. It's, one looks like a spike, the other one looks like a burger, uh, and one of them looks like the divide sign. There's also one that looks like a turret to me, and one that looks like a vex head. So the way I kind of work it out is vex head and spike when you come in or on the left side of the middle, and divide turret. You see there, there's divide, there's the divide symbol. Divide, burger, and turret are on the opposite side. So as you're looking out into the chasm, divide, divide, burger, and turret are on the right side, the side I'm on now. The other side, you'll see a symbol over on the other side, that is what I call Vex Head. Some people call it cone, Snow Cone, it's, it's up to you what you call it. Uh, but for this run, all we were interested in was was the ones that we were we were going after. There's the elite kind of, hopefully, I because I can't remember what it's called. Hopefully I get to stun them and get a look. No, I'm just going to Nova. When you've cleared all three bosses, then the exit will open, which is almost right in the middle of the map. It's on one of the long, it's on the long kind of bridge section. Uh, you will have an absolute ton of ads at the bridge section. So don't just go running down there and expect to just go straight through the exit. You still have to kill... Uh, I think I think he's like a Revenant Knight. I think that's what it's called. You still have to kill the Revenant Knight to open up the exit after you've killed the So you can see here, this is my right trigger. Now what you can do is you can... You see there, it's, it's like going round the corner. It has got... I don't want to say aggressive tracking, but it's, it's really good tracking. So you can actually curveball it round doorways and behind walls and stuff. So there's the... What happens here is I think I get a chance to just... I'm just like moving from left to right because shots aren't that great from the wizard. And I managed to kill him. I was actually coming to work because the other wizards, the other two normal wizards, had, had started targeting me. See that big green light there? That's the exit. Once you've killed all three bosses, the wizard, the knight, and the shrieker, that light will appear leading you to the exit. The exit is in the same place all the time. Now, we, we do have a Revenant Knight to take down first. So, I always kind of, I always go up here and I can grenade, rocket, super, whatever I need. I'll just put that and there we go. Pit Keeper, that's what it's called. So, it's not a Revenant Knight, it's a Pit Keeper that you have to kill. And as you can see there with uh, the Void, the Void, the Void Damage, I uh, put just a one mind cell. And there we go. That is the first section done. Now we're heading towards the Ogre Maze. Now, I've been doing this exactly the same way for ages. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to change to the setup that I'm going to use for the Ogre section and then the Pit of Heresy. Although, I will be waking, making one more change at the Pit. Uh, so I'm just making sure I've got Grenade at ammo scavenger and sword scavenger on and now we're gonna for, for many for, for people that have done uh see here i'm gonna change to devour as well this is really really helpful um, i'm basically making almost all the changes that i'm gonna make uh for the pet of suffering uh chamber of suffering sorry so we're gonna be there's a few more things i need to change i need to i need to take off uh I need to take off the War Mine Cell build. I'm going to keep it for the for the Ogre section. And I'll be taking off the Grenade Launcher at the Ogre section. But everything else is going to stay. The Lament, uh, the Succession. Any primary sniper really will do. I just use my Succession. It doesn't, it's not a Vorpal triple tap. It's not a recombination. It's not, it's, it's, it literally, I think it has a recombination. But it's a, uh, uh, 
It's just a high impact primary sniper. It's not got anything special on it. Apart from the fact, like nearly every weapon that I'm using this run, it reloads itself. That's that's the key for me in this run, especially the way I've done the boss. Uh, I wanted to be able to switch between weapons and not have to waste any time with reloading. So once you drop into the pit, which is the, the ogre section, basically what you've got to do is kill these, uh, these elite knights again, and they'll drop an orb. You have to slam an orb, and there's three channels. We are now, we've just come out of the right-hand channel. There's a middle mid-channel, and there is a, a left channel. Each of them has, and you'll see, they have a closed doorway that you have to take an orb to and slam it in one of the one of the the holders you'll see here. So I'm just gonna collect some ammo. Pick this orb up. And then because because I haven't smashed uh I never used a, a war main cell. Sometimes a war main cell can break those kind of high I don't I don't know what to call them but the things that cover the hive exits so what the way I kind of not when I'm not breaking one main cells what I do is I come up that side the first side we can when we drop in and I take the first left kill the knight that's in there and then I go to the other side go straight through the cavern and then cross over as you see in the video cross over and what that does is it takes me into a little bit I can run around a semicircle and come out at the right kind of come out of the node it just saves me being out in the open for too long and then I run up slam and then when I'm coming back down as you've seen there I came back down and went left that brings me into this room again come straight through and it's when you slip come out of there you're up here and just you used to be able to duplicate these I, I never never ever really used to duplicate these ones but they've stopped you from duplicating, which I don't have a problem with. So you just run up, hold uh, to slam, and then we come back, come back through this room, and, and then when we come out, this is the room we just come out of, we come up and we take the second on the left, and that brings us in here. That's, that's a real simple way to get all three of them to remember. Come, as soon as you come in, uh, you're going to go first left, and straight through there, cross over, take the first left, it's really complicated saying it like this, but if you watch back the video, this this isn't a, oh, this worked for me this time. Every video I've ever done on this part, this is the way, and it just a, it's just a real quick way to get, you know, to each of the slam locations that you need. And it still works. So that brings us all the way, this is, we're on the far left side, and this is the last doorway, there's three doorways that we've got to open up. Once we do that, all the doorways open up, we've completed that section, the ogres will disappear, and now we are at the pit. So I'm just going to make sure I've got everything set up. We're going to be switching to the arsenic bite, so now I need to make sure I've got sniper ammo finder and sniper ammo scavenger to go with the sword. So unfortunately, I've got to go back in because I just noticed a rocket there. So I need sniper and sword. Now, the way this used to work was you uh, used to be able to uh, duplicate the orb. But even when you couldn't duplicate the orb, there was like time between each wave. You could go and kill the knight. So you would get three on the left, three in the mid, three from the front. And, and, and then you kill those and then you could go and kill the knight. The way it seems to work now is they all come together. <laughs> And then when the big wave comes once you slam, they just push the plate. It's 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 insane. So what I decided to do was I can't I couldn't safely be on the plate because you have to keep the the plate in the center is kind of the key. you every so often, I don't know how long it is, 10, 15 seconds. If you leave the plate and don't go back on it, it'll wipe you. And there's like a a little kind of a big hive kind of thing above the plate and it will start to change color and you'll hear it's almost like a warning shriek from the 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 plate that it's going to wipe you you have to keep activating the plate just to keep it cleansed so the way i decided to do it was run with devour 
and the sword and aggro the adds instead. So literally and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get get my devour. I'm going to push the adds off the plate. When, when the exploders come, I'm going to try and get them to explode without having to use too much. Forget about the boomer knights that come because every time you slam an orb, you're going to get two boomer knights up on the... It's two little little parts above you, two little uh, ledges left and right in front of you, they're, they're quite high up, you're going to get a boomerang from each of those. As you can see, I've got a minor spec on my bow, and it, if I get the crit, I've got explosive rounds and rampage on it, so if I get the crit, it's a one hit. And as soon as I've cleared the adds, make sure I, wipe, I, I, I activate the plate, and then I'll come over, take the knight. I'm looking to get that done pretty quickly so as soon as I've picked up the orbs you can see that that high structure changing co changing color going red that means I'm close to a white mechanic so now I've got a wave of ads coming out I'm gonna get boomers they're gonna be raining fire down on me but because I've got devourer as long as I'm getting the kills I'm getting my health back so you can see it I've now activated it four kills roughly gets you your grenade back be careful when it comes to uh, when it comes to the exploders. You don't want to be sorting the exploders. So as you can see, once I step onto the plate, I'm pushing down into the centre, clearing these ads, and then straight back to the plate, so that I can no no I can take these boomers out. And there we go. As long as you get one crit. You're fine, and then as soon as I've cleared this side, it will, I'd never really bother with the right hand side because the, the the hive structure behind me gives me gives me cover. I don't really have to worry about them. If I do get slightly too kind of pushed, I just pull the sword out like this. I feel like I'm taking too much from each side, so moving target is a hard target to hit. So now I'm just going to clear this front section, keep coming up to the plate to refresh it go and take this guy over here and then back to the plate to refresh now we'll go and take the knight now when you're going to take I always take the same knight so I use his kind of blast shield that shield in front of him I use that to block his shot so I'm not almost dead by the time I get there I want I still want to have quite a lot of health so refresh the plate cleanse the plate slam there's a lot of ads already up it's fine I will eat my devour and now I'll go after them and just make sure you only spend, you'll see here, that's about as much time as I was prepared to spend off the plate. I just want to get in a routine, coming off the plate and back on. So now I'm going to throw a grenade. I'm going to have a look for any, any ads. But you can see there, I've produced a warmind cell. There's an exploder, I'll back away. And I've sorted over to where the warmind was and I've blown that up. That cleared all the enemies, now I can kind of as safe as you can take out the boomers and we're ready to go again so that's the routine now as whenever I get a bit of time like I don't feel like I'm getting heavily pushed now I save my sword ammo and I'm just gonna kind of ping as many of these with the sword I've got devour going on kind of you're kind of okay if you've got your devour propped you can, you can go out and slap them all if you wanted you know and now because I've stayed on the plate I can just go straight from because the plate, I, I'd already been cleansing the plate. Unfortunately, the lament done its lament thing and decided to do the, the big attack. <laughs> and just into fresh air. Nothing there. Let's just attack whatever we feel like and not the ad right in front of you. So this time, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm ahead of the curve. So I can take out a boomer. Don't. Get involved in trying to take them all out when you get a bit of time like that. If you do get hits on one, be thankful you got hits on one. And then get back to the plate, get back to your routine. I've, I've got Devour. And there, you can see there, Warmind's Decree working perfectly. Threw a grenade because I, ha I had a grenade to throw. Uh, and there we go. Threw a grenade, the void splash damage, perfect, created a one main cell, which not only, I mean, I mean, it's just like health central, right? I was going to go there, uh, and then I realized that there was a heap of ads over that side, which means 
now I'm gonna have a heap of ads here. So I'm just, as I say, I'm just gonna... The good thing about switching up weapons, and I've noticed that... Yeah, you every, every, kills with any weapon can drop any sort of ammo, but if you're wanting heavy ammo, it's best not to be using heavy to get it. So now, we've got him here. And just kill him with a sword. Refresh the plate. Back over. Now you've got to do this six times. You need six slams. Of six orb slams. Uh, and and that, that will get you past this. Always when you pick up the orb. Always. Always come back to the plate. Now, see I've got the sniper out. But I am getting pushed. The ads were just about to come out. So I can't actually do anything. So we just get devour. Throw a super in the center. Now, I, it's just force a habit, right? Don't don't come at me for it. It's just force a habit. I know that if I pop, if I have thrown my super, which I did, it kills with it, which I did, that in itself would have propped the bower. I know that. Alright, we'll just t see if we can take a knight. And we did. And now we'll try and just run past this exploder. And now we can take the next knight. There we go. It's, it's, now, so there will be some people that are saying, right, well, I, you know, I'm not very comfortable sniping in those situations. I'm not sure uh, if the linear fusion rifle the primary would work coupling it with the uh, guillotine. I don't know if that would work. It might, but you just might have to hit maybe one more shot than I'm hitting. Other than that, I mean, there are alternatives. The Yotun would probably do the job that, that the sniper's doing. I'm using a sniper because it's high impact. You know, it's very easy to, you know, once, I mean, you could probably even scout rifle once you've cleared the ads. Using a sniper for those knights is not an, an imperative, right? I'm just going to get with the Vower propped. It's not imperative. It's not. You don't need to. It's not like there's nothing else you can do that with. There are. There's other alternatives. I just use a sniper, but kind of. I think, personally, for people that are going to be saying oh, I'm not very good with a the sniper, then being able to snipe in these situations is kind of key for being for doing solo activities not for not necessarily as i've said it's not a must and it's not a must for this but kind of a key thing for being able to to do solo activities is being able to be proficient maybe not you know look at me i'm, I'm a quick shot expert i never miss you know we all miss just learning how to be proficient with all the weapons for doing solo activities don't limit yourself. Never, you start limiting yourself. Oh, the only person that's losing out there is you. The minute you start limiting yourself by saying, "Oh, I can't do this or I can't do that," you are, you then are, you're placing an unnecessary uh, uh, block in your path, a barrier that doesn't need to be there. So, it, this isn't, you know, this isn't crucible. This isn't trials. You do not have to be able to quick scope. But being able to hit two headshots is all you need. You know, or even a body and a headshot. So, there are other weapons you can use. I chose to use the sniper. But, and as you will see, this, this kind of strategy works best. This whole strategy works best if you can use high-impact snipers. There are other alternatives. This isn't an end-all or be-all. It's not, if you don't use these, you can't do this. Of course you can. I will suggest, as we're going through, alternatives to it. As I said, uh the exotic primary linear fusion rifle which surprise surprise because i very rarely use it i cannot remember the obelisk <laughs> see ah, i did remember it the obelisk would do it in the primary slot and just use the guillotine uh there are other alternatives i just chose to use a sniper but the the one thing i will say is the strategy i'm going to use at the boss it's really good if you can use a sniper so, again, we'll go through alternatives when we get there. So, as you can see, I've switched back to the rocket launcher. I've changed some mods. I've put on the trusty Yotun. I do not get enough opportunity to use this weapon. 
I love the Jotun. No, I don't use it in Crucible. I've got thumbs. Uh, that's probably why I don't use the Weather Horde. Uh, King, that one's for you. Uh, <laughs> uh, King will know what I'm talking about. So, uh, I've switched now to Jotun. I've put Royal Entry back on and I've got uh, Hung Jury. It doesn't matter what Hung Jury you use. I'm using my, I think I've put the Adept one on. It doesn't have explosive rapid hit, but it does have explosive. And as you'll see, I didn't change my subclass. If you don't change your subclass at this point, don't change it. Right? I changed to go back to top tree because that's what I'm going to use for the rest of the run. But I didn't get my grenade back fast enough. And I almost, this run was almost over at this part. So, just like it was in the first section, you get the three symbols... And we're going to go, the, <laughs> the only one I can remember off the top of my head is Vex Head, which is where we are now. If you go left from the start, it will bring you here to Vex Head. So because I changed everything, I don't have a rift, I don't have anything. And it's snipers. So luckily, my uh, my my recovery uh, was pretty good. And I managed to just kind of... For want of a better word, hide. Move from side to side. And there we go. So if you haven't changed your subclass by that point, don't change it. Just keep what what, what you've got on. Because you kind of need your abilities. At least you're ripped. So this is, you'll see the symbol behind, I think. That's Vex Head. That is what I call Vex Head. Because it looks like a Vex Head. So, and, uh, these kind of, this, uh, ritualist, there's three wizards you've got to kill. When we dropped down, there was a plaque with three symbols on it. Uh, Vex Head was there, so I went left. But all of them are really accessible from the center. So once I've killed the Vex Head, if Vex Head is one of them, I take this route, and this takes me to the middle. The middle is where the exit is, but all the plates are really accessible from the center. And what I... I I'm going to be honest, guys. I don't know. It's been... Man, I was struggling to remember this this when I came in here. It's been... I don't know how long since I've been into the pit, but I don't think I, could, I ever knew which one was which. Spikes over here and yada yada. I, I couldn't remember the exact locations, but what I've always done... Because they're so accessible from the centre, I always just... I can't remember if it was A and Vex Head that you could get left and right from the centre. I always remember Vex Head is left because I nearly always got Vex Head. So as you can see, uh, the wizards are called Malevolent Ritualists. So we kill, we kill, you've got three of them to kill. Where we are now, this is what, that's the, um, to, just to our left is where the exit is. So, as I was saying, I can't actually run to each symbol. I can't remember where they are. But what I do is I come to the centre and I work off the hits I get on the on the map. So, there's two... that We do Vex Head on the left. <clears throat> and then when you come to the centre, you've got one, two, three over on the left. Uh, right, so, uh, left. From where you come in, if you took the same... If you're looking at the exit, you've got three on the left... And you've got two you can access from the right. Uh, so I took Vex Head out. I, I, I took that, the, the one we just took out there. And now, because I've got the hits here, this is where I'm going to go for the next one. And this is... What is that? Is that oh, that's a tent. Or it's like It looks like A. I don't know what that is. I came over here because I knew there was one over here. Because you get... This kind of area, as I say, all these malevolent ritualists are... Even, even Vex Head, which was the first one we took, are accessible from here. Right? From from where the exit is. I think I've said that like three, four times now. I noticed this when I was here. I don't remember seeing this when I used to do it. Uh, some sort of... Uh, uh, hive ritual passage. So you, over on the right of where we're jumping now, the, there's two over there. So 
you just kind of have to, you know, if you know them off by heart, brilliant. But if you don't, you just have to go to go towards the areas because there's always like two or three in, in the same location, like in the same area, and just feed off the hits you're getting on your mini map. That was really vague. I apologize for that. I just couldn't remember which one was which, and I didn't do it for this run. This was like the second time I'd done it since I decided to do the run. I came in the first time to see how different it was, and then I'd done this. And it's been nearly a year, maybe over a year since I've last done this, so. The, what we're going for is, this is all leading up to this. What I'm going to be running is an Aggie again, Truth Teller, Royal Entry. We're going to two-phase the boss at pretty much, without really too much kind of danger. I'm going for a charge with light build. So I'll be taking the war mines decree off, I'll be taking the war mine cell build off. And I'll be focusing on, as you can see, I've got taking charge, I'll be focusing on trying to get uh, grenade kills and picking up orbs. <clears throat> now I'm going to drop that back down and I'm going to put on breaching clear. Now, this it's here that I've made the cut in the video, right? I made the cut because I had to go away for a bit, but the only thing you're going to miss is... And I am going to talk about it. You are going to see it in the video before I actually leave. Uh, and then I come out and I've done some... like had to mess about to keep my character active because family matters and stuff. But the only thing you missed is... It's all dead video. There was no attempts. There's no, nothing like that. The only thing you missed, the only thing you're going to miss, is a change from uh, blinding grenades... To spike grenades. I actually ran out of glimmer here, which is crazy. So, we're going to have spike needs because I want to be able to put breaching clear on, onto the boss, but I also want those grenades to do real damage to make sure that I get the two phase. Another thing I noticed, and I noticed it at the start of this run. The ads are a lot more aggressive, but so were the champions, the the the, the mini bosses. Uh, the shriekers, the shrieker, it, the shrieker could melt you before. It, it, you know how much can you ask a shrieker to do? Uh, but the knight chases you round the back. The wizard takes up different positions than it used to. As you can see, I'm I'm putting on a boss spec and a major spec on that, and I will be. This is where initially I got distracted from the run. Uh, and it was just the easiest way to make the cut. The only thing you're going to miss, no runs were done, no attempts, no nothing, is me changing from blinding to spike. So, I have changed, I am now on spike nades. So, what I'm going to do is charge this naggy shot, as you'll have seen to start with. It really does, really does just deal with those, those, uh, the sword bearers, those uh, knights that are kind of charging around. Now, you are going to get a heap of ads. Don't get involved in gunfights. Take down, if you're going to do it the exact same way I've done it, take down a knight. This guy just wanted none of it. He was off. And the knight came straight out. I, w I was a little bit surprised at how aggressive the knight was. Normally, he just, he won't come around the back. But now, he chases you everywhere. So, movement is key. Now, what, the way I attacked the knight, I attacked him to start with, is the exact same way I'm going to do it here. Two hits, and then block. So I've took all the other adds, I've now got my super, big hit, big super hit, two hits, block, two hits. Now, when I get near the end, I'm maybe if I think I can kill him, I'll maybe go for a third. And then, so what will happen is, just to explain the boss, what's going to happen is, You've got three in each one of these towers. You've got one of those mini bosses, the exact same ones that were there to start with. Uh, each time you kill one, you're going to get an orb, and you'll see those kind of things that you slam the orbs in. There's three of them around the boss. Once you've killed the three bosses, and then you've slammed all three orbs, you will get, you will start DPS on the boss. You cannot go in. Boss will be immune before then. You can go in. He can kill you, but you can do nothing to him. So. 
Uh, you also, you, when you first come in, you're going to have acolytes, which we count most of them with, with that grenade at the start. And then from then on in, you're going to just get waves of throw. Every time you slam, you're going to get a couple of throw, right? So I'm just going to melee these, just get rid of all the kind of loose, loose uh, ads. To get another sword, you need to kill a sword bearer. Now, it is possible, especially if I know a lot of people that do this, uh, it is possible if you take out the Shrieker first and don't bother about the orb. Just take out the Shrieker, you can go use the sword ammo from the Shrieker, like a full a full Sword Knight sword ammo. There's enough ammunition in the sword to take out the Shrieker. And the Knight, I wouldn't come after the Wizard with it. I would, I would do the, the Shrieker and the Knight. Don't worry about the orb because the orb will disappear, but do not worry about the orbs if you're going to do it like that because once you've killed all the champions, if you don't pick up any of the orbs, or even if you leave one orb, the orbs will appear after all the champions have disappeared, after you've killed all the champions. So you can actually use one sword to take out two, two of the mini bosses. But I don't, I don't do it like that. And the reason I don't do it is because if you use one sword to take out... If you use one sword to take out two champions, that means there's an abundance of champions... Or knights, sword knights, not champions. If, if, if you use one sword to take out two two champions, there's an abundance of sword bearers running about in the center. And it's just... You know, there's no point. So, what I do is I take a champion. Uh, I drop the sword after I've took the champion. I go and slam the orb, I kill another sword knight, and then I go and take out another champion. So this is this is the Shrieker. Obviously, the the wizard you had to fire it using right trigger. It's left trigger or whatever your block is or whatever your whatever your fire button button would be for Black Talon. It will be the same for for this, and whatever your block is for a sword, it will be the same for this sword. Block the Shriekers incoming shots, send them back, make sure that the, the reticle from the sword is aiming at the the, the Shrieker. That'll kill. As you've seen, I kind of move left and right when I'm blocking on the Shrieker because you can take some damage from the boss as well. Just make yourself a hard target. Pick up the orb, go and slam. And then we'll have one more one more champion. Now, what you want to make sure you do is once you take the last orb, see there? That was the last orb, it wasn't, we didn't need to do another champion. Once you do the champion, make sure that there's no sword bearers up. And then what I'm doing, see there, uh, I'm putting breach and clear on, rocket, grenade, and then super to start with. And then snipe, I'm just trying to get these guys, I'm, I'm staying quite aerial, I'm not giving, I'm not staying on the ground too long for these guys to, to, uh, to explode next to me and that's it's just a routine of grenade rocket and you see here I get a snipe off and we took we took the boss to just about half just under half and then right back to the same snipe snipe one of the knights and as soon as I snipe the knight I don't I don't bother about any of the other ads I just go now something you need to know and you're going to find out right here. Uh, by blocking when the first explosion happened, that's what saved me. Now, you don't want to be in that position where you're needing the block to save you from exploders. But any when you're dealing damage to the boss, after a certain amount of damage, you're going to get a uh, ex uh, curse throw, exploding throw. Any ones you don't kill, they won't disappear or whatever. They will follow you. So you have to make sure that you're aware of these things. So the, now I've, I've got my, my ammo finders, my sniper and uh, sniper and grenade ammo finders on. So I should get a heap of a heap of ammunition. In case people don't realise what I what I changed, when I get a kill with a sword, I will get a font of light. When I pick up the font of light. I'm going to get times two charge with light. And the only way I can expel my charge with light is with rockets. So getting kills with a sniper and a grenade launcher, 
will not use my chargeable light because it has to be a rocket launcher kill. Because the only thing I've got is Ardent Ordnance, which is uh, when you equip your uh, when you equip your rocket launcher, I can't remember what it says, like God Slayer Rockets or something. And that's the only way you'll use the charge of a light. So I'm trying to get grenade kills each time. As you can see, we've took them down to half. So we should be able to finish them pretty easily here. Although, didn't actually seem pretty easily. But I think... I think... Uh, I think it was... E it, it was pretty close. But I think it was because I maybe didn't hit as many sniper shots. If you're not comfortable going for the two phase... Just, just do a three. Once you learn the mechanics of this, very easy. So, as you remember, the Shrieker, we actually left the orb and the orb disappeared. So you'll get to see what happens. If you don't pick up any of the, the orbs, they are all available at the end. I know people that do it like that, where they just kill the champions and then slam all the orbs afterwards. There's no right or wrong way. There's just different ways. If you're going to do it the same way I've done it, then when you get to that last orb, make sure you take down the Sword Knight that will be patrolling the area. Because if you don't, he's going to come into the center when you're dealing damage to the boss. And it's just another edge you've got to deal with. So, as I say, I've got my, my ammo finders on. Uh, if you do take out, if you do, as I say, if you do it the exact same way I'm doing it, uh, make sure that you reload the honed edge times four shot on your sniper before after you kill the sword knight it just means that that big damage snipe is available uh as soon as you start dealing with the boss so as you can see i'm looking for the knight there he is reload the hon honed edge now i'm going to slam and as soon as you slam boss is going to hit his solar ground attack so try and get in the air straight away uh and don't don't be standing waiting you know as soon as you, as soon as you slam so as you can see this is my last orb here we're going to get the last orb now i'm going to be looking for the sword knight again i always come out the side because the sword knight normally kind of hides around the edge oh missed him with the missed him with the, the snipe there but unfortunately another annoying thing is the button to charge honed edge is the same button <laughs> as 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 to pick up the the orb, so no, see I couldn't charge the honed edge because I'm picking the orb up again. Charge the honed edge shot. If the boss is standing where you need to slam, just kind of you get the see I got it quite far away there, and he couldn't actually do a lot of damage to me. So there we go. This is the rotation. So I I hit him with the grenade launcher. I hit him with the rocket. I hit him with uh, the super. And then a snipe. So I put another rocket on him. I actually reloaded there. I didn't mean to. But what I've noticed is. Honed Edge goes off and quite. Uh, Breach and Clear goes off and quite quite quickly. If you keep hitting him with grenades. And not nothing else you see. Just took it off him again. So make sure you're doing the proper rotation. And there he's going in. He's, he's, he was going into his kind of. Wipe mechanic there, If you, the, the thing I haven't said is if you're in the center, when he puts his sword in the ground, if you're in his, the center, when he unleashes that energy pulse, that will kill you. So make sure you get out of the center when he's doing that. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I certainly enjoyed making this. I will be doing another, at least one dungeon video in the, ne in the next week or two. So take it easy, guys. I hope this helps you guys if you want to go in and get runs done. And I will see you guys in the next video.